Hello everybody, welcome to game one of day one of week one of the EU LCS 2014 Spring Split. First game is Fnatic vs Gambit. Here are the picks and bans. Fnatic banned Riven, Kha'Zix, and Yasuo, whereas Gambit banned Kassadin, Nidalee, and Elise. Fnatic picked Trundle Top, Vi Jungle, Orianna Mid, Jinx Marksman, and Annie Support. Gambit picked Dr. Mundo Top, Shyvana Jungle, LeBlanc Mid, Lucian Marksman, and Thresh Support. Let's get into the game. Gambit try what one of the casters might call a cheeky invade level one, but end up getting caught out, giving Fnatic first blood. They're going in for them. This is a four versus three. Gambit could be in trouble. Look for the pillar of ice here as Fnatic come in. Genji gets completely stunned up. He's going to get locked up. The ignite is burning on him. All five members come in there. It's so as it gets first blood. It's Genji goes down, and now Darian's being chased out up towards the top. Looks like Edward is going to make his escape. He's going to go for the teleport away. Will he get away in time? Yes, he will. Very well played. Next, Reckless and Yellowstar prove why Doublelift said that Reckless is actually pretty good. Going flash straight in, Timbers on towards him, but there's not enough damage coming out. And now Yellowstar gets pulled in towards the tower. Diamond joins him at the top here. This could turn out horribly for Fnatic. We going to be a double kill! The Super Mega Death Rocket! Oh, and Diamond gets flashed away by Reckless, but can he close the gap? He's going to go in towards Reckless. He should. No! Barrier Bait pulls him out, and they don't get anything! Ladies and gentlemen, Gambit try and take their second dragon in the game, but Fnatic aren't too happy about this and shove down mid lane to get the tower to get some more map control. A small team fight breaks out afterwards with the teams trading evenly, one for one. Edward coming around the backside of them. Remember, Shockwave was already used. The cooldown's down. They do take the tower down. Diamond has to try and jump away from this one. Dragon's Descent is going to help him get away. One kill goes towards Gambit, but is it going to be enough? They're going to try and tank off. Look at Soaz going in there. He wants Edward. He gets Edward. Can he finish off anyone else? It doesn't seem that way. It's going to be... The third dragon of the game is alive and available for taking if both teams want to contest. However, Fnatic comes out way ahead with a 4-0 and take Baron swiftly after, putting their gold lead at about 6,400. There's the Cullen coming out now. Dalkin this time, Alexis, he needs to land the target in the right position, but it's not going to happen. It's Diamond he went for. Alexis not going to land his combo, and now he's in trouble. That's going to be his mimic going down, and now Genji's trying to run away from this one. Fnatic doing a fantastic job of chasing. The pillar stops him dead. Darian is in all sorts of trouble. There's going to be a duel between Genji. Can he turn it around? No, Pekka gets in there. It's a double kill for Reckless. Edward's in trouble now. He's going to get chased down. It could be the triple. Yes, it will. Reckless is 6-0. This is a fence. Fnatic press their lead and show how little they care by just walking up mid and killing some people and taking an inhibitor. It's a triple kill for Peke. Can he get the quadra? Diamond is just going to bully them away. They don't care. They go for the tower. Soweis didn't even use his ultimate in that fight. The dive potential of that via assault and battery shut down Gambit. Now they're onto the inhibitor turret. That's going to be the inhibitor going down. Diamond can't prevent this one. He has to back away. The rest of Gambit coming out now as they're going to slowly spawn Diamond joining them. But that is the first inhibitor of the game. Fnatic in total control of this match. Fnatic shove up bot lane and have another favorable team fight. They end up getting the inhibitor and both Nexus turrets, but don't end the game and are forced back. Cyanide. The Edward just gets pulled in by the shockwave, dropped right down. A diamond, how tanky is he? It doesn't matter. He's just getting dropped straight down. That's the inhibitor turret going down there. Cyanide gonna run away from this one. Darian desperate for the kill, but he just can't get it. And now Reckless comes back around the side. He's hitting everything. Peke gets the kills. It's another double for him. He's 816. The inhibitor. This is gonna be game fanatic. Cyanide didn't even die. He got out. He dove into four members of Gambit and the super tanks are tanky. It took them a while to die, but they didn't have enough damage. LeBlanc, Alexic has been unable to find priority targets, and Fnatic, in 30 minutes, are going to pick up the first victory of the LCS. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Fnatic just tanking down slowly. Will they get forced away? It seems they will. Soas gets up. Can he? Gambit try a last ditch effort in taking Baron, but Fnatic knows it's up and end up killing them and winning the game shortly after. Straight down, Darian comes in, Diamond comes in, the tanks run in the front line, but they just don't have enough damage to follow through. That's going to be another double kill for Peke. Then Darian's going to get focused on one more hit, should take him down. It's not going to be from Reckless this time around. <laughs> it will be. Finally, he takes him down. He's 8 0 9. Peke. Well, Fnatic run the game at Nexus. I just want to take this time to quickly thank you guys for watching. I'll be covering all the games to split which includes the next game, which is Copenhagen Wolves versus Alliance. So if that's not up, there'll be a button in the bottom left that'll say subscribe, which will notify you when the video is uploaded, and a button in the bottom right if it is up, which will have a nice little button that says click here to go to game two. Once again, thank you guys for watching. 
and I will see you guys next time. Later, skater.